What's going on, guys? This is Jason Thrift Trader, and uh, honestly, I'm just going to be uh, taking some pictures of some shoes, and I figured, what the heck, you know, I'll just go live, we'll do a working hangout together. So if you guys uh, are interested, uh, just hang out with me. Hopefully, you guys are working too. Uh, I could be background noise, or uh, we could just discuss something, or, uh, you know, who cares? Who cares? As long as you're here with me, because I don't want to work alone. Uh, if any of you guys are interested in joining on the live hangout, uh, just let me know and I'll uh, shoot you guys a link. But uh, I guess we're just going to work. We're just going to work. Uh, let's see. Uh, Bat Becca. Hey, what's going on, Tracy? What are you doing? Are you working? Kenny Creek Girl, what's going on? Junique Trader. Is that Mary Deathy? Is that was? Am I reading that wrong? Uh, Nathan Eddings, what's up? What's up? Hang out with you and listen while I'm at my nine to five. Cool. Tracy's cross posting eBay to Poshmark. Awesome. Awesome. Coffee all day. Coffee all day. Been a. Uh, trying not to go thrift storing because I've already got way too much in my death pile and I need to get it listed. So yeah, sorry about that bright light right there. It's pretty bright. Taking pictures. Get that death pile. Get it. That's the plan. That is the plan because I don't care how much you paid for something or how little you paid for something and how much money it's going to make you. It's not going to make you a single dime as long as it's sitting in your death pile. And so as much, as much awesome stuff I've been finding, it's not making me any money until I get it listed. And this is the part everybody hates. From Utah, what is up? Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Well, like I said, if any of you guys want to join me on this live, you're more than welcome to. I'll just have to uh, Facebook message you the link to, to jump in. So, Tracy, that's an open invitation if you decide to do so. And in the meantime, we're going to start with these military boots. Cool, cool. <laughs> George, I think I'm going to pass, brother. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass. These are some nice Gore-Tex military boots. McGray footwear. Oh, good thing I caught that just now. That's better. <laughs> I've got two almost identical, almost identical pair, the same size and everything, but the right shoe was uh, was wrong. So now I got to start over.
George, it's Friday for you, buddy. That's good. That's a really good thing because it's going to get really cold this weekend, so be happy that you're off. What's going on, Kent? Larry? Holy cow, how many people are here? You guys are amazing. 17 of y'all. That's awesome. Oh, snap. What's this? Oh, payment received. Woohoo. Get it. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. So how many of y'all sit around and, like, take pictures of a whole bunch of stuff and then list it? Or do you guys take pictures and draft at the same time? Kind of curious what your process is. Yes, definitely. Guys, if you haven't uh, subbed to Tracy Thrissett, that chick. That chick has got it going on. So you guys should definitely go over to her channel and sub, subscribe to her. Picture then list. I've got my phone settings on my camera set to uh, to take a picture when I say the word shoot <laughs> or something similar to that. So I need to be careful there. I've had a head cold the past couple of days, and now it's kind of in my chest. I think it's getting a little better. It's still, still in my face, too, though. I hate being sick. Ain't nobody got time for that. We've been passing colds around in this house. I think this is like the second round for everybody.
daylight photography nighttime listing heck yeah I've been finding some awesome awesome shoes at my goodwill bins look at these these are Danner Gore-Tex military boots I haven't comped them out yet but these are freaking cool man uh five six seven maybe more if needed yes if you guys ever see danner um pick it up because it's really it's a really solid brand i actually found several um, all leather Danner uh, military boots, lace ups, like four pair in one day at my Goodwill bins. So I'll be listing those pretty soon too. Don't you just hate it when the uh, size tags so worn you can't tell what size they are? Oh, well, I'll just compare them to something else I've got. Danner, D A N N E R. Yep. These are a little worn on the bottom. I only paid $2.25 for them. Surely they'll sell. Of course, I'm not going to get top dollar for them, but I'll take them. <laughs> These are really scuffed up on the toes. But they're solid leather, and they're steel toe, and they're lace-ups, and they're Gore-Tex. So I bought them anyways. What brand is this? Belleville. Still a good, solid work boot, so that doesn't concern me. Just photographs, as long as you disclose it. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, I lost $2.50. Shipping on those boots. Um... With pirate ship, probably see what happened there. <laughs> I said the word ship, and it took a picture. I gotta turn that setting off. It's gonna drive me insane. Um, I think with it should be around ten, maybe eleven at most. All right, I turned voice control off, so it'll quit doing that crap.
when I'm not live, it's pretty, it's pretty handy. Yes, pirate ship. Definitely look into it. It's cubic based pricing via USPS. Anything that ships larger than a padded flat rate envelope uh, that ships priority, you're going to save a lot of money shipping. A lot of money. And um, I actually ship everything, all of my eBay uh, sales, first class or not, through pirate ship because they. They uh, keep track of your metrics. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, Well, thank you, Mary Dethy. That tip alone just made the video worth my time. Pirate ship going to Google after. Absolutely. Uh, you don't even have to thank me. It's free. And the cool thing is, is it integrates seamlessly with eBay. So when you ship through pirate ship, like you can get all of your orders that are awaiting shipment from eBay into pirate ship just by the click of one button. And then after you ship, Pirate Ship automatically integrates with eBay, sends your tracking information to your orders on eBay, and your orders magically disappear from a waiting shipment folder. It's pretty awesome. I will call them back when I'm not working. Dude, check these out. They're Dr. Martin's cappers. Little scuffing on the toe there. These are freaking cool. Um, I actually paid up for these. I paid fifteen dollars for these, but these should sell for a little over a hundred. They're um, these. This Doc Martens. Anytime you've got like eight eyelets here, they're called eight eye boots. Eight eye boots, and these are uh, England made. Made in England. So these. This is a cool find. Oh, that's right, Tracy. I got to get with you. <sighs> yeah, it took me, like I said, it took me like half a day to get that sucker figured out.
it's challenging at first with pi uh, with Price Specter, but once you get it, it's flawless. Let me see what's going on here. Posh sale. Good deal. What's going on, hit flipping mama? What's going on, Chris? Liquidation, Ohio. If you guys aren't watching him, he uh, he does a lot of uh, liquidation unboxings too, which is really cool. You never know what you're going to get. I actually love the photography part about listing. It's the sitting there after the fact and doing all the listings part that I don't like. <laughs> Call me Mama or Kelly if you want. Okay, Mama. I'll do that. Leaving work now. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, the photo part I really enjoy. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. I'll tell you what's really in style right now is these dang chucka boots. Um, not all of them sell very well. Of course, it's still brand dependent, but these are Johnston Murphy's. They should sell pretty good. Um, John Varvados is also another brand that sells quite well in Chukas. You won't catch me dead in a pair of these things. <laughs> this is not my style. I'm a cowboy boots kind of guy. Either that or house shoes, house slippers. My DGAF shoes, that's what I call these. I'm wearing my DGAF shoes right now. 
And when I'm usually wearing those, I'm usually not doing much. Be careful, Chris. Oh my gosh. That's freaky. What is in there? Nothing. That's good. <laughs> it's supposed to get ridiculously cold here the next, uh, over the weekend. Like the jet stream, the flow of the wind or air, the jet stream is going to be coming right over Oklahoma. We're expecting 45 to 50 mile an hour winds on Saturday at a temperature 16 degree temps. So you won't catch me outside on Saturday. Shit kickers. <laughs> yep. Um, in all the honesty, I think I could be wrong. And I can't list them like this, unfortunately, on eBay because they will get taken down. I, I'm pretty certain that this right here is elephant hide. I'm pretty certain. It's real thick and very, very tough. And it's just got, I don't know if you can see just how, like the, like, you see that? I'm pretty certain that's elephant hide. I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. <laughs> Green thrifty, either rain or two feet of snow. There's a big difference between the two of those. <laughs> Posh it. Kent said, yep, it is. So this is elephant hide? Is that what's going on? Oh, man.
Maybe I can. I know I can't list them on eBay with the keyword elephant because they'll get they'll get taken down. Let me just put in the word exotic and see what happens. How about we do that? Rhino? Um, because it's unlawful to kill an elephant, I think. I don't, uh, I'm not sure exactly. I'm not sure exactly why. It's kind of the same thing with like elephant tusk, like ivory. You can't sell ivory either. Let me look on Poshmark. Exotic skin boots tend to do much better. I, I bought, you guys have probably heard this story a million times, but I did buy a pair of, um, Nakona boots at the Goodwill bins several months ago that was ant eater skin And I sold those things for two hundred and fifty dollars within one hour of listing them Let me filter this to sold. You have a uh, dirt poor picker. You have two pair of elephant uh, hide boots on eBay. Call it bull. Ethical question. Do I want to sell such an item? Uh, you know what? If they killed the elephant specifically to make these boots for me to sell, no, I would not. But, uh, you know what? I bought these boots at um, the Goodwill bins. The elephant's already been dead. Like they, I, I mean, you know, I can't help that. If I was, I would not kill an elephant to make boots. But if somebody else has, these were made in the USA. Not entirely sure. Like this pair of Justin boots is likely vintage. So. I don't have an issue with selling them. I do have an issue with killing an elephant to make a pair of boots. All right, Tracy, uh, hang tight and I'll get you that link. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Don't say that.
Oh, man. Hang on. Okay. Tracy, I just sent that over to you, so you should have it. List them high. Yeah. I think I'm going to set these aside and not list them on eBay. Because I don't feel like getting a violation on eBay today. If I was a little more frisky, I'd think about it twice. Let's see. List them high. the listing for ebay now yeah hang on just a second is there a um oh shoot i forgot to put my airpods in sorry um, just no, i might have to do the same for eBay now. yeah hang on. hang on just a second is there a um oh shoot yeah give me just a second is that i'm muted can you hear me now yeah but i'm probably they can probably hear twice. Hang on just a second. Okay.
You hear me okay now? I can't hear you. All right, I unmuted the YouTube video. It's really weird. now well I bet you can hear me now probably <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I might have to, yeah but the problem is they can they're hearing a uh, a double of you that is weird okay guys is is there echo going on or no I just didn't know if maybe, you know, when she talks, if you can hear her twice. Kent says there's no, no um, repeat. Not hearing an echo. Good. Okay, All right. Good Forget this. Forget this crap. All right. Good. All right. Back to what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, I picked up these guys yesterday. The socks that say, if you can read this, bring me a beer or bring me a glass of wine or a cup of coffee. These are actually. Oh, nice. Those were pretty cool. They're brand new. <laughs> I don't I think those, those, are those wouldn't get me too far, though. The one size fits most, so. I don't know. I think these generally run kind of small, so I don't recommend these for men. <laughs> like, my husband would not be able to wear these. I would probably be able to wear them, but... <laughs> That's funny. Actually, just remember that I have one more thing to cross-post to Poshmark. <laughs> Are you home yet? I think Chris is thinking about hopping on too when he gets home. Oh, cool. Chris 
Chris says somebody needs to talk. <laughs> We're talking. We're talking. All right, I just popped out the chat, so that makes it much easier for me to see what you guys are saying. Well, yeah. Cool. Chris said he's running around and picking kids up. <laughs> That'll be me next year. But mine will be about a 30-minute drive to, or, well, 30 minutes one way. So that's going to be really fun. 30-minute drive, and then I have to wait. Until school lets out. Yeah. I'm cross posting a Disney Cinderella. Um, it's a sweater with a sequin slipper the glass slipper on the front it's really oh. pretty i would show you guys but i already had it packed away i can kind of show you in the bag you can't really see it but you get the point it's got a big sequin slipper on the front of it sorry that's crunchy it's super loud crunchy crunchy <laughs> All right, Kent. <laughs> Sarcasm at its finest. Oh, man. I'm already tired of this game. <laughs> No, I gotta keep pushing. I gotta keep doing this. At least I got people with me. All right. I just finished my second cup of coffee not too long ago, so. Uh, dude, Hopefully, I, I keep going for a while. I've had like half a pot. <sighs> well, you just reminded me. I've got to get Jeremy, my husband, to stop and get another bag of coffee before he comes home. Because otherwise, tomorrow I'm sol. <laughs> the roads are like trash out here right now. Send him with the honeydews. Right. That's funny. I get it all the time. My wife will message me and be like, hey, uh, can you get this, 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 this on your way home? <laughs> Yeah. And like if I, I show mean, it happens to me when I'm out too. He'll send me to the grocery store to get stuff. Oh yeah. He'll right. suddenly I mean, decide he wants to make something for dinner, and then I have to go get it all. <laughs> she won't let me in the house unless I've got it. <laughs> so I have forgotten, and I think you told me that you do other stuff outside of shoes. But if when you're doing like a shirt or a jacket or anything, do you show a picture of the materials tag? Yes, with clothing I do, yep. Because I, I wasn't doing that for a while and I was just typing the information, the materials into the description box of it. But, and then I started omitting that and just putting a picture <laughs> of it. And then yeah. I started thinking like, you know how the, the, the age old thing of people not looking at all the pictures. Yeah. I mean, so. that, if you don't add pictures, uh, they won't read the description. And if you don't put it in the description, they won't look at all the pictures. I mean, so. <laughs> it's a lose lose situation. It just kind of, it just saves a little time though, just to snap a picture of it instead of having to type it all out. But yeah, I mean, I'll still put like, if it's, like a if it's like cashmere or a wool blend or something like that like i'll put all that information in the item specifics but i won't right. add it to the to the description because nobody wants to put like 16 percent nylon 34 percent rayon 
I just put nylon blend and leave it at yeah. that. It's like, I don't have time for that anymore. Or like, I'll put like whatever the, the most sought after material of the product right. and, and then the word blend and forget about it. Mm -hmm. So even if it's like 2% wool or something dumb like that and like the rest of it's cotton, nylon, elastane or whatever, like I'll put wool blend. <laughs> All right, for sure. It's not a lie. No. <laughs> Oh, I had a Poshmark sale today. <laughs> That's what you were saying. Yeah. Good job. An Indiana University bomber jacket, which I was kind of surprised because I don't really pick up a lot of that stuff. But I figured since it was a starter jacket, I would still pick it up. And I did not make a lot of money off of it just because it is Indiana University. But it still uh, sold. Still made money. That's what matters. That's why we're in this business. So I just had a moment over here. <laughs> I'm okay, so I'm listing this Cinderella sweater on Poshmark. And I would say probably, I don't know, probably 60% of my items are new without tags items. And so when I'm reading down the listing on the Poshmark listing page, when it comes to the, does this item have tags attached? I like almost instantly clicked no. I'm like, no, <laughs> kind of like that. What is that commercial? Um, the credit score commercial where that guy's flipping his pancakes and, he, and his girlfriend or wife and they're getting the house and then she's like, I just got to check my credit score. And he goes, no. <laughs> like I totally had that kind of moment when I almost clicked no and it actually does have tags attached. <laughs> Making that money. Not yet. About to. Kent's over there listening to Baby Shark. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not even introduce my kid to that because I knew. I knew better. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be a bad deal. Yeah, there's some red mud on the bottom of these. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Um, I'm already there. My kid puts me there on a daily, so I don't need that one more thing. Another question for you about Poshmark. All uh, right. Do you actually put anything in the original price? No, just a zero. That's what I do too. I just zero it out. I'm not going to sit there and take the time to find out what the original MSRP crap was. Right. No, that's just I've just put zero from the get go. Even if I know, even if it says it on the price tag. Yeah. Screw it. I feel like that kind of gives people. Um. Because, you know, Poshmark, like, on their commercials, they advertise up to 70% off, right? That gives people the motivation to, like, offer you, if you put that in there and you have your price at, like, half the cost or whatever, it gives the people the motivation to offer you, like, up to 70% off of whatever the original price was. So, I just always go with zero. Yeah. So, all right. I got a question for y'all. Would any of y'all wear these dumb things? I personally wouldn't. I'd say they're dumb, but I cannot wear something like this. My husband owned a pair, but I don't, I'm pretty sure that I ended up selling them on eBay. <laughs> he might have worn them like twice. Yeah, I cannot. I cannot wear. I can't wear socks or shoes or anything that goes between my toes. I love some flip flops now. Oh, you were speaking of house shoes. 
<laughs> Got mine on too. It's Maybe. cold over here by this window. Yeah. Oh, did you get your house shoes on? Yep. I had to cave a little bit today. We normally don't let um, our kid have his iPad until seven o'clock. And so he has, he can have two hours playing games on his iPad or watching whatever the YouTube kids channel is. And uh, in order to get him out of the room right now, I took him out in the living room, put him on his iPad and let him play games early today. There you go. Just kind of get a little time to work. Yes. Oh, my microphone ought to be here too today. It says delivery by eight o'clock, so I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, these five fingers, they do sell, no doubt, but I just, no thanks. <laughs> Can't do that. I gotta stuff these suckers. Dude, my eBay room back here just looks like a complete wreck right now. Shockingly, it probably doesn't look like it because this is life in this tiny bedroom, but shockingly, my eBay stuff is under control right now. <laughs> that just makes an indigo shopping again. These are those fry boots I found at my bins. These women's Melissa fry boots. Those are so pretty. I can't believe I found the damn things at the bins. I know. Well, it's because Goodwill probably wanted like $75 for them originally. Exactly. I don't know if you've... Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched Nicole State's videos, but I watched one of her most recent ones this past week. And she was showing things that she'd found at the bins with price tags on them, like sport coats. Seriously priced like $75 and up. <laughs> she didn't get them at the Goodwill for like $2. I believe it. I don't think Nicole sells on eBay anymore. No, she's on Pos strictly on Poshmark now. There's reasons for that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't watch her like on a regular basis. I just happened to see that one as I was scrolling. Uh, somebody asked how much I paid for those running uh, the five fingers. Uh, Two dollars twenty five cents. <laughs> Last kid pickup, Chris says. <laughs> That's funny. No bites on fry boots. Man, that's a bummer. I'm going to try and uh, try to get these things sold and out of here because I don't, I mean, it's not. I'm not going to wear these things. <laughs> yeah, so, I still do you really great on eBay.
All right, so I'm gonna start taking a couple of pictures. Let's see, I gotta get my white paper that I've been putting down for the background. What do you got to take? Take pictures? There it is. Right there. Yeah. That was really good. Uh, two more asks, uh, do you go to the bins by yourself? Who watches your cart? Yes, I do go uh, to the bins by myself. Um, and uh, I've made several friends there that are daily drivers. And um, they uh, we all watch out for each other. Um, I take a sheet and cover my cart and set it off to the side next to the cash registers. So um, if anybody starts digging in there, they're usually spotted pretty easily. Yeah. You know, it also makes life a little easier that my husband bought this white IKEA furniture. So it's a white background already. Nice. What phone are you, do you have? Um, I have the iPhone X, but I usually oh. do most of eBay. Like I can't even think of the last time I used my phone for eBay, just because I always take my pictures with my iPad. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes, like most of the time, when I take a picture with my iPhone, it comes out kind of yellowed. And I know you you talked about the white balance the other day, but with my iPad, I don't have to do that. Even the bottoms of these boots look pretty darn good. I'm actually surprised. Here's the bottoms. Yeah. And uh, I'm actually really surprised that I found these things <laughs> at the bins. I surprise myself all the time, though. Crap like this always tends to show up every once in a while. These aren't vintage ones, though. These are Mexican-made, unfortunately. I have a pair of J. Crew boots that are brown that are very similar to that, but no, they don't have metal hardware on them. But yeah, I thought they would sell faster than they have been. They've had a little interest, like offers, but they've been pretty low ball. Yeah. Well, I know my buyer will come by, but and those are vintage J. Crews. I'm a, well, I'm coughing a lot. I'm coughing and sneezing because I got a stupid head cold right now. Bye, Mary. Chris made it home. We'll we see you, Mary. What's going on, Jameson? Um, Seymour asked, how many hours do I go when I go to the bins? Uh, depends. Depends on how things are looking. If things are, well, it also depends on what they've got coming out. Because um, I'll peek around in the back, like open the door and peek my head through there, see what they're unloading, getting ready to, to push out the doors. And if it's, if it's a bunch of shoes, I'll stick around. If it's a bunch of clothing, I might leave. But usually anywhere between three to five hours. All right, I'm going to have to search these. I'm not coming up with the app. Chris, just let me know when you want me to send uh, send an invite, and I'll... I'll, I'll Get that to you. I need to go buy another package of this stuff. I'm running low. I 
don't have any of that. Where do you get that stuff from? Um, I buy it in 20, uh, 20, well, I think maybe 25 or 50 pound lots of it at a uh, local um, shipping supply store called Budget Box and Bag. It's just uh, uh, packing paper is all it is. Right. You can also I was wondering if my Michael's, the white roll of paper from that I get from Michael's is the same, but I think it's a little thinner than what you have. Um, is it stuff that comes on a big roll? It's like this. Yeah, that would work. I would imagine so. It just seems like I've touched that stuff you've got before. It just seems like it'd be a little thicker. This is called newsprint paper. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, the stuff that you've got, like you can buy rolls of this stuff and get like a roller that just lays on the floor and you can just pull out how much you need and pull up on it and it cuts it. See, I, did, uh, I, I knew that, but I totally didn't even think about getting one that actually will tear it off smoothly. I've just been cutting it with my scissors or tearing it off because by the time I take a picture, you don't see that part anyway. Right. These shoes could use a little more love, but I'm just not in it right now. Somebody's going to buy them for less than what I could get out of them if I spent the time on them. And then they're going to spend the time on them and be happy about it. Seymour wants to know, um, do you go through all the bins or just the bins that the new bins that come out? Um, when I first get there, it, I'll hit the the new the freshest bins first, and then on my downtime, when I'm waiting for new stuff to come out, I'll I'll go through some of the older stuff. I don't really I don't go through the clothing at the bins. I just can't. That that hurts my back too much. I don't know if I'm old or if I'm just a wimp, but it kills my back to go through the clothing. And on that same note, um, Goodwill Goodwill Bins closest to me is a two hour drive, um, but it's generally the same. If I'm thrifting and there's a new rag that rolls out, I'm I'm on it. <laughs> I have found so many like Patagonias and just really nice jackets and high end brands, and it's because nobody's looked through it yet. And then once that once you go through it, you can just go remember where you were and you can go back. All right, I'm going to send Chris the link here. So I'm assuming when you search solds, you probably select U.S. only? Um, I mean, it depends. Yeah, uh, typically. All right, Chris. Uh, I sent it in the group chat on Facebook.
What's going on, Shane? Rise and grind picker. Guys, if you want to learn about retail arbitrage, you guys need to be watching uh, Shane, Rise and Grind Picker, and Scott, the Bearded Picker. Those guys are killing it. I watch those guys just about every day. Oh, yeah. They take up about half my life. Good luck beating me to that like button on their videos. <laughs> and yours, too. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually surprised Scott's not in the chat tormenting me. He usually is. Would you list this as... No, I guess not. I don't know why. I keep thinking like one is beer and one is wine, but it's beer and coffee on these socks. I don't. I was going to say like couples socks or whatever because there's two pairs, but probably not. Probably not. Are they... You said they they run small. Yeah, it says one size fits most, and my husband I think wears like a twelve, and these he's had similar to these before, and they did not work out for him. So, I would probably say up to shoe size like ten. A little too small for me. Another thing, when you list a new in a package item, do you use any acronyms? Like, obviously, you put new in the title. You put, like, new in the package or, like, NIP or anything like that? Um, no, just usually new. But if I can send it into Amazon, I'll, I'll sell it on that platform before I, can, before I sell it on eBay, anything that's new. Let's scan it and see. I didn't even think about that. That makes me look completely oblivious. So um, my realtor that sold me this house like four years ago, he always sends like Christmas cards and things of that sort. And um, he sent uh, he sent like a happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day uh, card to me. Mm -hmm. and, um, and in the, in the package was also this uh, – this, um, wristband and i thought it was really cool because it says human race i don't know if you can see it yeah i can see it yeah and then and then on the other side it says we all bleed the same oh that was really cool so that is super cool yep there you got actually a couple towels if you hear my family moving around in the background i have the door open so i can hear my kid if he starts having a fit or something not a problem. I mean, I've got, I got my door wide open too. Actually, kind of lucky that my three-year-old's not around here screaming around. So if if I have to get up and leave the room, you know why? Oh, that's fine. But I won't be long. He knows my stern face. <laughs> Candy Creek girl, you just got to get in there and you got to learn to be tough. I mean, you don't, I mean, I don't know. At my bins, you know, most everybody's got manners. Most everybody. That doesn't mean everybody. Yeah, Candy Creek. I've only been to the bins about a handful of times, and I've never really had any problems other than sticking my hand in something wet one time. <laughs> like, the people were not were not bad. I mean, I'm sure it might differ in different cities, but mine were not too bad. But always take your gloves, like your uh, the rubber gloves. That's my tip. <laughs> Yeah, sticking your hand in something that's wet. I've done that a few times, and it's not a pleasant experience, I can put it that way. Mm -hmm. You would 
think that I would know as much as I buy from the Goodwill and the thrift stores in general. And you would think I would know the totals plus tax by now. Oh, uh, for everything? Yeah, for like individual items. Like if it's two forty nine plus the tax, what is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like to put that in my um the custom label field. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what you were saying. You like to put the cost, your cost in there. I mean, I know it, I know that I should also be keeping a spreadsheet, but I'm not there quite yet. <laughs> um, so like, I, if somebody makes me an offer, I can just go into revised listing and look and see what I paid for it. Right. And go back and judge the offer based on that. <laughs> Many are packing iron at the bins. That's funny. Would you get run over by an 18 wheeler <laughs> if you had armadillo hide boots? That's funny. Push back, Kent. Push back. Poncho, we're just we're just hanging out, listing stuff, just working. What's going on, Chris? What up? Chris. How's it going, guys? Not too bad. I was telling you earlier that I sent all the snow from Fort Wayne over to you. Yeah, it's coming down like the flakes are like leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I walked in to pick up my son, and all the, his friends are looking weird at me, and little do I re realize I had all the snow in my hair. Uh, Junique Trader, I've got uh, S7 Edge, and yes, I, I can voice command. Um, I just turned it off just a little while ago because I was taking incidental pictures being on this live. I just, now, I mean, what, so, go ahead, Chris. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, how many listings you guys get up so far? I'm taking pictures. I've probably got pictures of 15 pair of shoes so far. I've Not, actually listed about five today so far, but I'm still going, and I have a lot of daylight <laughs> left. So. Oh, yeah. I have an interview with the boys from So You Want to Sell on eBay later this evening. Oh, but, cool. Uh, caught them. Is that the name of their channel? What's that, Chris? Is that the name of their channel? Um, yeah, it's a podcast is what it is. Oh, okay. That's cool. But they also have a Facebook group. But they asked me to come on for another, uh, another interview tonight, so I'll do that. I think it's scheduled for 7.30 tonight. But it'll be pre-recorded. It's not released today. It's just uh, not exactly sure when the release date will be. Ken says he got up 10 today. Do what? I said Kent saying he got up 10 today. Oh, Hey, nice. Justin. Yeah, we are supposed to get between five and seven inches of snow on Saturday in Fort Wayne. So I will believe it when I see it. What's going on, Justin? Man, Justin had like a six hour or some, something ridiculous uh, working hangout last time, yesterday. I, walk, I got into the chat. I was like, are we still live? <laughs> Yeah, I think I went to a couple meetings and I came back and uh, like, oh, they're still going. <laughs> and they like swap several channels. It's hard to tell if they were working hard or hardly working. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I got 12 up last night. I got one up today. I'm probably going to try at least 12 more. I sourced, I ordered, placed an order with my wholesale for jerseys today. 
Uh, what else? No thrifting, though. Yeah, I'm forcing myself to stay away. Like, actually, I say that Saturday, there's a couple of estate sales I'm wanting. I'm planning on going to, and I'm gonna. If if I do go, I'm gonna wear my spy glasses and I'm gonna post that crap on YouTube. Oh, that'd nice. be cool. <laughs> so that should be fun. I'm curious about how the uh, the quality is gonna turn out. Those look kind of cool. It it actually isn't bad. It's not 1080, but it is true 720. So it's not too bad. I think my husband just got home, so I'm gonna warn him that we're on live so he doesn't jump in here like something crazy. Uh, Marty, um, how old wearing his birthday suit or something? I got uh, wholesale a lot of these Todd Gurley shirts. Now I was boxing them up last night, and if I don't know if you could tell, but the outline of this is supposed to be gold, and either this is a misprint production, but it's all white. So hopefully, always check everything. I'm gonna send that out. Wow. Some jerseys I got were missing. One was missing the whole patch on the front. It was weird. You guys, excuse me for just a minute. I've got to call him back. He's repetitively calling me. Uh-oh. I'll be right back in just a minute. Yeah. So how do you store all your shoes, Jason? Do you have, like, uh, Um, I've got, okay, so let me see if I can find the picture. Yeah. And I'll show you here in just a second. Turns out he was just calling to ask what kind of pizza we wanted. <laughs> I guess that's important. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> this, knowing what kind of pizza you want is very important. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not funny my father-in-law had knee surgery two days ago the six, yeah the 16th and so he just got home from the hospital today he's in there Having to do his um, his exercises. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, Jason. I think there's a troll here. Robbers here now. Um, wait. I'm looking. Yeah, there's there's no wrenches to take care of it. <laughs> well, I'm about to take care of it. There you go. You got it. Yeah. If the freaking Sorry, guys. Hang on. Sorry, Tracy. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you're fine. I was, I don't know, just running off with the mouth, I guess. <laughs> no, I wanted to, him to catch him before he uh, said right. anything else. Well, I'm trying to get Justin to be a uh, moderator. All right, Justin, lay down the hammer. All right, greater. <laughs> There we go. All's right in the world now. Thank you. I'm going to report. People just don't have anything better to do. Report. So, Blumpkin. Yeah, I do hear that <laughs> pet T Rex in there quarterly. Sounds like a lizard. Is that you, Trinity? <laughs> No, um, that's Jason's. I'm kind of surprised you're not hearing mine right now. I put him out in the living room on his iPad there, so hopefully you make what? it like an hour. I have a pet T-Rex. <laughs> it's quiet over here. Thanks for that, Justin.
All right, I got to get. Tracy, I'm going to end up making you a moderator as well here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I should have done this a long time ago because I actually only have one moderator and they're hardly in here. Well, I'll probably be in there about 75% of the time, I'd say, unless I'm outsourcing. <laughs> You're good. I mean, usually, you know, it's just like these working hangouts. I need some, like, I need somebody in here in the chat, like, because I'm not paying attention to the chat half the time. Oh. Mad Cat. Hey guys, I'm in the Facebook group. Ontario, Canada. I like watching your live streams when I am packing stuff to ship out. Great content. Thank you very much, Mad Cat. That's awesome. <laughs> Can't say we say marathon working hangout and Justin appears. <laughs> <laughs> what up? I heard I heard something. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you how I uh, inventory this stuff, Chris. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got sidetracked. Let me find the picture. I think I have what, five pairs of shoes? And huh, I have trouble storing just those. Yeah, dude, I don't know if I've got it in my phone. I'm gonna have to look. So, um, you were talking earlier about, was it Norco boots? Um, Nakona boots? Oh yeah, I have a pair of those, one and a half. There's no watches on. Yeah, I mean, Depends on what they're made of and the, and the style, too. Yeah. But I'll show you a picture. You let me know if they're good enough. I, granted, a picture is not going to do it justice, but. How much are you asking for them? Uh, I just went high, 187. 187 is pretty high. What are they just, are they any kind of exotic skin or anything? Uh, I couldn't tell. But I do have best offer on it. So I was figuring someone would come in and best offer me. Yeah. I'll lower them if yeah. Cause when you said Nikon, I'm like, I think I have a pair of those things. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can show you here. All right, so there's that's what they look like. They're brown with uh kind of patterns on the side. Let me see if I can find it better. Yeah. There it is right there. There's the logo. Kind of hard to see. Yeah. Then, um, there should be like a four or five digit number on the inside of those boots that should it's, it's like a style number three five three one zero let me see that because i was doing like you said i was trying to pull up numbers trying to see what they were made out of um uh, look I put I typed Nakona three five three one zero into Google. What it and and that's your that's your listing right. Oh there. yeah. There's my listing. <laughs> yeah, I think you got them priced a little high, honestly, Chris. I think right. honestly, and they um they look like they're just leather like that's what i was thinking plain plain boots probably about half the price you're you're asking uh -huh. okay yeah. oh crap uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> i hate that noise i do too you're like oh no 
That's not the good eBay noise. <laughs> we can have like a a somber tone. Wah wah. Yeah, right. <laughs> the other thing I do is when I click on message, I look at the subject and I see if it's ending or ended. If it's ended, I know so many are. Oh, question yeah. product or ending it's still a, a listing man these people bought these shoes yesterday and they just messaged me are these shoes shipped yet <laughs> oh, they're gonna ship today i promise <sighs> a lot of people don't realize that i i usually ship in the evening times when i do ship um like yesterday i took off shipping but um, but today I'm going to ship in the evening around nine because I have a post office at the airport that's open till eleven, and it goes directly from them. It's it it'll be at the uh, at the distribution center in Oklahoma City by the end of the day. And uh, it actually gets to my buyer a day early typically. That'd be awesome to have a uh, post office open that late. It definitely helps. Out. Been, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, he just got back from school and picking up pizza. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I did not mean to talk over you. Um, uh, go ahead. Justin, Justin RVA, I have not had any returns yet, but. Half the stuff I've sold is still in that um, transfer facility transfer. So but that's the that's the only thing I dislike about Amazon. Um, you'll sell something and it's in the middle of like transfer from one distribution center to the other. So it's another week before it even gets sent out to your buyer. Wow. I just had a sale on a micro cassette recorder on Amazon. So I had, I think I had about 10. I was pumping them out. I was doubling my money. And then like eight people jumped on the listing and they were selling them for the price I bought them for. They dropped them in half. So I let them sit at the high price. I guess they sold out. Now I'm selling all my double, double price again. And don't lower your prices if you think you have a, if you can get it. Well, before. So you guys tell me what you think. Is this item going to be damaged or not from the look of this box? Holy cow. Yeah. This is one of the Monopoly games that I had Ooh. to recall from Amazon. Are you going to open it? Yeah. I'm kind of scared. Damn. That sucks. I mean, the game is not like shoved in here, but it is moving around you can hear it shaking well i don't know if you follow you follow rest raccoon on instagram right right he got two of his monopolies back he videoed them the box was like ripped open and crushed and they looked all right if i remember correctly yeah i got one back a few days ago i had to recall five of them but um the one i got back was in pretty good condition but the box was also not this massive for it i've gotten Combo players pulled back, and it's like they use the biggest box possible. So it's sliding around on the inside. Like, really, you can fix a small box. And yet, um, my husband ordered a book several months back, and the box the book came in, like they made the box fit around the book, and it crushed oh. all the corners of it. Ooh. And so, plus, when I'm sure when like UPS or FedEx or whatever it came back. They throw it around so it's getting even more dented up. Yeah. So it doesn't look too bad from what I can see in the corner. Yeah, not right off. It looks pretty okay. Whoa. It's shocking. Hey, it's we got whole, whole end of the box is crushed. So. Yeah, you look. That looks like a pristine condition. Yep. Yeah. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about it. Nine out of What's that, Jason? That it sucks you had to recall those. Nine times out of ten, when I recall stuff from Amazon, if it's not, it does well, 
it says damage. I get it back and it's working. I'm like, really? Like people just looking for a reason to return it? Either that or they didn't put the bubble wrap on good as well enough. Oh, uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Good. Now I'm just waiting on three more. I had to recall five. Um, I didn't get in on the trend early enough to actually go to a ton of places to get a bunch of them, which is kind of good. <laughs> so I had to recall that many already, but I did sell 14 of them. FBA. The okay. silver, silver lining is that is if that box is still usable, you have game board boxes. There you go. I've got so many dang sandals. I'm probably over half of my inventory is probably sandals. I'm for spring and summer to get here. <laughs> yep, summer's coming. I got probably 15 pair of Birkenstock sandals. Wow. Those would still sell though, right? I mean, I've had some some success, but they're slower movers. Yeah. Right Birkenstocks are slow. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's 20 degrees outside. <laughs> but you don't understand, though. Like, the college girls, they wear the Birkenstock sandals year-round. Maybe I'm slow. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Same with those um, those shoes you had earlier. I forget what the, you called them. Oh, man. Those ones, I don't know if you saw my comment, but I said that a lot of frat boys wear them. I saw the comment, but I didn't see what it was in regards to. If you think about my, I just looked it up. Miami's seventy-one degrees right now, so there's parts of the country that'll still use it. Yeah, you know what? Casey Paris can go kiss my butt because that guy's got fresh weather all all year long. <laughs> I'm over here. We're expecting forty-five to 50, uh, 50 mile an hour winds on Saturday with a temperature at sixteen degrees and blowing snow. Probably about the same here. I'm not going outside. Not and my good. husband why, wonders why I have a bag of stuff still in the closet to list because Saturday is happening. <laughs> Saturday. We're supposed to get like five to seven inches of snow on Saturday. Yeah, we're supposed to get between six and 12, they said. Dang. Look. Uh, I think Oklahoma's average snowfall for winter is around eight inches total. Dang. <laughs> well, I'm from Alabama, so I spent right. 32 years there, and I probably saw eight inches of snow there for over my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. here, it's like, what the people who live here are like, this is not really anything. And and you're like, this is guys falling. This is ridiculous. <laughs> like, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Over a dusting of snow in Alabama, people are just popping up and going to the grocery store. Like the world is ending. Nope. Um, Larry said they're looking, looking at ten to fifteen inches on Saturday. Dang. Dang, wow. man. That's crazy. No. no. Justin says he's had two returns on Amazon this week. Yeah. I'm going to knock on this wood over here because I have not had a single return yet. Y'all can keep them returns. I don't want them. All right, I got to re up on coffee, so I'll be right okay. back. Man, both y'all are ditching me. <laughs> oh, Chris gone? Yeah. That's okay. Oh, you got this? Yep. Thank you. There's Chris. There is a fight over a blanket on the couch. Oh gosh. <laughs> then I just boil boil some water. Very nice. 
So, have you ever got a? So here's what I had happen. Someone uh, ordered something. Well, bought it on eBay. They bought it for supposedly for Christmas. They opened up a return case 57 days later. Said it didn't Hello. work. So I declined it. eBay backed me up. Uh, she couldn't leave feedback because at that point it was over 60 days. Uh, and now they opened a not as described case on PayPal. So I figure I'm screwed anyway. No, all you have to do is show them that eBay backed you and declining to accept the return, and they they should shut it down. Do I have to show like a screenshot of the decline, or what do you have I to show? I think that PayPal goes off of that, but they have they can look and see. Oh, really? They okay. have the transaction number um, associated with that what, transaction, mm -hmm. and so they can just look at it and see that eBay did not accept it, and they'll shut it down. I've done it Ooh. before. Right now, it says escalate to a case. Because right now I'm like talking with the person and they're saying, we got shut down on eBay. Yeah, well, that's because it was outside of the, outside yeah. of your returns. I mean, yeah. you generally know, if you get something for Christmas, you're not going to wait almost two months to open it. That's what I was like. I'm like, and I, and I stated in the message, I said, I would have taken the return if you opened it in my window. I mean, I, yeah. that's why I have my return window. I only do 30 day returns. Yeah. Versus eBay recommending you do sixty, and I don't really, I don't have that many returns. So I don't either. And I'm still making good sales, even though eBay recommends it. Yeah. So. And half the time, I'll just accept the return if it's within the, within the window. I'll accept the return and move on. I mean, I try yeah. not to dwell on it. And even if it's, I feel, even if I lose four dollars return shipping, um, that's not a big deal. Yeah. I, I don't it, do free returns either. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I can't things. remember. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yep. I mean, it's not worth my time to call eBay and fight over it. And more than likely, I have three dollars invested into it, so I'll just tell them. I know a lot of people think, you know, not to do that, but I just move on. Yeah, I just haven't made the jump over to that yet. So I don't know. I'm still thinking on it. But I mean, to your point, I don't. I don't get many returns when I when it does happen. So. Right. Jeremy got this Amazon game back and that box was all crushed to Yeah. On Amazon. Yeah, I had to recall those five Amazon games, remember? It's about half the crap that comes, comes I'm done. I know. I was telling them about that cookie guy that was all sent right out. Hey. Listen to me. That's how I get most of my purchases. <laughs> is a crushed most of the box. Yep. Listen to me. Welcome to Why? my husband and child, guys. Well, I want to go. <laughs> Maybe I could just talk to you. No, I'll bring some up to you in a minute. Huh? Tracy, I missed it. How many sales did you have today? Um, I have had one Poshmark sale today. Nothing on eBay yet. Yep. yep. I have a. I have two eBay, one Poshmark. I did not. Someone best offered me Poshmark, and I went five dollars higher, and they disappeared. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, crap, I should have taken it. I hate that. But oftentimes when you when you offer back to somebody and they disappear, then somebody will come along and buy for full price. Yeah, that's true. I have that happen a ton on eBay. Poshmark's mm -hmm. a little slow. Yeah, same. I have way, way more sales on eBay. How many listings do you have on Poshmark? Um, not as many as I should have. I think I have about 110 right now. See, I have, how many do I have right now? I'm still cross posting though. That's what I was doing earlier today. Six seventeen right now. Nice. Wow. But so I did have a lot more listings on eBay, and I'm actually building up. I have tons of stuff to list, to death pile, if you will. But it's not really a death pile because I bought a ton of stuff so that I can get it listed to get my numbers back up. Yeah. Um, because we moved a couple of weeks ago, and I just dumped a lot of stuff. Because yeah. I've had it for so long, and I just like I need to refresh, so I just ended it and got rid of it. How long is long? Um, within the last three weeks. You've had it for three weeks and got rid of it? No, no, no. Oh, I thought you meant like. Oh, sorry. Before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we've been in here. We're actually living in um, a spare bedroom in my mother-in-law's house right now until yeah. we can find our own place. So we had a small apartment, and it just was not working out for us. So. <laughs> Sorry, how old, how old was the stuff you purged that you had listed? Oh my gosh, probably a lot of it was pushing two years. 
Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, and I had even tried auctioning some of it and it wasn't going. So I just needed that like relief, you know, like it's yeah. tired of looking at all this stuff. Like I just needed it out. So I just dumped a lot of it. Yeah. I need to go back there and do that. I just leave it up. So, and plus we got a storage unit and I did not want to have to store all that stuff. Oh yeah. That would no. not want to do all that. I gotta grab a bag right quick. I think earlier a bunch of people in the chat were saying how much it's sold. Anyone new in the chat? How many sales have you had in the chat here? If you haven't hit the thumbs up, make sure you hit it. There's only 16. Dogs going bananas. I've got to clean this guy up, but I think it's a it says on the bottom. Wow, the sticker's coming off pretty easily. That's awesome. I think it's like a three cup percolator. Something like that. I'll have to look it up. It has a number on the bottom of it. It's a Pyrex. Like coffee, you put coffee in it, and mm -hmm. microwave it. How's that work? You put it on the stove, actually. Interesting. Yeah. You're, you are really cool. What do they sell for? Um, I would have to look it up. I'd be afraid to shout out a number right now, because <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be wrong. I've sold one in the past, and I really can't remember because it's been that long. But I wasn't about to leave this at Goodwill, so. I find I find zero Pyrex. There's never anywhere I'm at. Um, I have found Pyrex before at Goodwills and Salvation Armies and wherever, but it's always just been way overpriced or way too, like, dishwasher damaged. What sells better, the, the colored Pyrex, the clear, or the white? Um, the colored, I would say. Color does? Like, the pinks, the pink and white patterns do really good, and I can't think of what they're called right off the top. I'm not, like, a big collector. I mean, I like looking at them, but um, the turquoise or teal, whatever people want to call it. And the pinks, I would say, probably do the best. I actually like the butterfly gold. It's the orangish gold color with, like, the big floral print on the front. So I have the most pieces of the butterfly gold. So, And I found it all at thrift stores. This is a big market for that, right? Oh, yeah. I'm just kind of, like, I'm not scared to ship glass. Like, I know how to pack things very well, but... With the yeah. Pyrex being very vintage like that, I don't really, I don't want to ship it. I'd rather sell it locally. And I see Pyrex yeah, I all that. over. That's for shipping it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to Is it hard to ship Pyrex? Um, yes. <laughs> and I say that mainly just because I, I have shipped glass things before and I've, I know how to package things and some something has still gotten broken so i don't feel like it was due to my lack of knowledge on shipping because i do know how to do it <laughs> i just choose not to ship pyrex right. Oh, i'm right here tim i'm here i'm back oh. hey, Jason. What's up? is tim x treasure yeah. He only says he gives you hugs, not thumbs up. I know. Screw him. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, I try my best not to sell anything glass because I'm just scared to death it's going to get broke. Yeah. I don't do it often. So I got some plushies. Build-A-Bear, My Little Pony. I think her name is Star Star something. Some, Star I don't know. Fire. Starfire? No. That's that, some, no. that stuff sells well? It's a Build a Bear. My Little Pony. Build a Bear does well, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially if you get like the like Spider Man and all the Marvel movie things like that. Those do really well. And my husband has all the Pikachu. Like, I'm looking at his Eevee Pikachu that I actually found at our Dollar Thrift store. 
Easy. a few days ago. Easy, sorry. Well, he's got all the Pikachus and all that stuff from the Build-A-Bear. He like, you know how you hear about people lining up outside the door of Build-A-Bear to get the special ones? Yeah. Yeah. No, I so. just ordered the special edition. And what's her name? Dory? Well, my kids have that one. So, this is not Build-A-Bear, though. This is something else, Disney. Yeah, well, it's Disney Pixar, Finding Dory. Star would be proud of me. So, you guys plan on going to Vegas? eBay Open? I'm going in March. Yeah, you're going to AFC, aren't you? Yeah. I am not going this year. I want to go sometime in the future, but... Um, yeah, that'll be right around the time when we buckle down and seriously start looking for a house. So that won't be happening for me this year. Well, let's. Who all in the chat is planning on going to uh, eBay Open this year? I want to go, but I don't know if I could do ASD or eBay and then ASD all in one shot. Chris, if you waited till July, ASD has a show typically like literally a day or two after it opens. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Uh, so there is there was second one's the end of July. Yep. So I don't know if I could be gone for a week and a half. Uh, I, I totally understand it. I'd like to be. I'd like to see eBay open. So does well, anybody know what this is? A raccoon? No, oh, I don't think it's a raccoon. <laughs> a, gra a brown raccoon? <laughs> Anybody in the chat know? They got a big poofy tail. It kind of like does look raccoonish, but. Are you sure it's not a raccoon? I don't think like it's a raccoon. Hello. Somebody's asking about the square or pointed cowboy boots. That might have been a question, an answer for someone else in the chat. Um, Ringtail raccoon? Maybe. Is it brown and black? I'm seeing if there's brown raccoons. <laughs> Congrats, Junk Trader. Jack Daniels just, hat. There you go. Nice. Red um, panda, someone says. Let's see. Ooh, that might be it. That sounds right. Oops. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, got bald feet. There he is. And this is also a um, build a bear. Build a bear. Oh, tails in the way. If you guys were interested, I, I mean, most of you probably know what a build a bear tag looks like by now. Well, the only stuffed animals I've sold are I don't know if you say it's Steif or Steve, the German ones. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Those hold some good value. Oh yeah, I've found one of those before. Me neither. That's probably on my uh, bucket list of fun. So, I'll also be taking a picture of these guys in a few minutes. I'm gonna see if I can hold them up. Uh, Rocket and Harley Quinn, Rocket Raccoon. Is that from Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. The raccoon? I thought I knew that. And what are those called? Robin. These are. I don't. I don't know their exact like what line they're from. Are you selling them as a lot or individually? Most likely as a lot. I probably wouldn't get enough to make it worth selling them separately. I don't know, they just say DC Comics on on the tish tag. What do you think? Twenty bucks? I don't know. I didn't really. I knew they would sell together like this. Is why I picked up all of them. No, I haven't. I don't know. I was thinking maybe like twenty four ninety nine probably. You can usually. Oh, yeah, I usually always go twenty twenty five. What were you saying, Jason? Oh, I was just. BS and I said twenty four ninety nine. I mean, I'll probably do like 
since I charge shipping, I'll probably put it up for like $19.99 with $4.99 shipping. Just call it a day. It definitely has to be a blunt roll, but I think not there in really good condition. Well, thank you, Tim. Do you guys know what this is? I know what this is, but I want to see if you guys know. Oh, man. Uh, looks really familiar. It looks kind of like something from SpongeBob, but I know that's probably not it's right. It's not SpongeBob. Oh, that was my next guess. <laughs> Mario. It's those things from the water world. They go like this. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. You know, I need to take some time and play some of the, like, the old school Mario game. Like, I think my favorite Mario game was the Super Mario 3, where you can fly. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 hat or something. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite. Donkey Kong was a good one, too. I hated that one. I couldn't make it. I've never played Donkey Kong. Yeah. Like on any platform. Or on any console, I should say. Missing out. <sighs> oh. Probably so. I'm sure my husband has. He'd probably school me in it. The best arcade game, and they made it for Nintendo, was the uh, Ninja Turtles one. Not the first one, the second one. Yeah, What's I did. Do I do him? Sorry, I was just calling somebody out in the chat. Oh. But, um, what was I going to say? I totally lost my train of thought. Thanks, Jason. Gah. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know if I would say my favorite. I guess Mario would probably be my favorite for Nintendo, the first one. But um, the Ninja Turtles game for Nintendo, the original, that's the one that stands out most to me. Oh, so, yeah. I'll never forget Ninja Turtles. <laughs> that was such a fun, cute little game. I played the heck out of Duck Hunt when I was a kid. I'd get, like, right up close to the TV with that dang gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. You know what the secret to Duck Hunt is? You can put the, the controller in, and you can control the ducks with the other controller. Are you serious? I just saw that a few days ago. I saw somebody talking about yeah. that. That's crazy. Mind Never blown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that ain't no joke. Uh, Frontier asked, how far am I from the new Amazon warehouse being built on I-44? Um, it is literally about 10 minutes away from me. All right, guys, I'm going to have to jump. Got to make the kids some dinner. All right. All right. See you later. Hey, yeah, guys. Thanks Bye. for that. It's so crazy because my hometown is Tuscaloosa, Alabama, okay? And yeah. now this year, I've been in Fort Wayne for about three years, and this year I'm hearing that they're putting an Amazon warehouse in Birmingham. It's like 45 minutes away from Tuscaloosa. Oh, wow. So... <laughs> I bet Scott's happy about that. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm pretty I'm happy. That, kind of building uh, it. Though. I'm pretty happy that uh, one's coming in here because I'm hoping that it cuts down on the amount of time it takes for my shipments to get in checked in. <laughs> so I'm kind of wondering. And I, I haven't, I guess I could like look it up myself and figure out what the rules are, but like, let's say, okay, I am the owner of my Amazon account. And like, if my mom found a whole bunch of stuff on clearance at her Walmart in Tuscaloosa, how would we do that? How could she ship it in for you? Is that what you're mm -hmm. getting at? Yeah. Cause you know, Amazon has our address, like our ship from address on file. And so that's what prints out. I guess what well, I'm wondering is there going to be like a kink? Like if I sent my mom the labels via email and she just printed them out and put them on the packages? Do you trust that she won't make any mistakes as far as like what what items need to go in what box and things of that sort? 
it would probably just be like I wouldn't make it too hard for her. I mean, if she found like, let's just example, if she found twenty bottles of this water, you know what I'm saying? It would probably just be one box of all the same thing. Uh, I see what you're saying. Just to keep um, it simple. <laughs> you know what? I've never thought about that. What's keeping you from her sending that stuff to you? Just shipping it to you, and then just that extra shipping, yeah. Yeah. I'm also trying to keep the cost minimal. Right, right. So I figured if like she can weigh it and because she sells things like in the local Facebook group. So she's got the stuff to weigh and ship and all that. So I was just thinking like if she could weigh it and tell me how much it weighs, I could put it in and then just email her the label spot. But I guess we'll see when that time comes if she finds anything good. Kent said that she can do it, that he's done it before. I guess just to create the labels and then email her email her the PDF of the labels. Right. I just worry like does it matter like I know because Scott and Shane, like they send stuff in and they're on the road. Yeah. Are they sending think, it like just with their address on it from wherever they are? Or yeah. like if she sends it from her house? Is right. Yeah. I think you'd be fine. You can still put your return address on there. Jeremy, do you know what line these are from? These little guys? What? That's Superman. I know who they are. <laughs> He's like, that's Superman. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> what does it sound like? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. It just says DC Comics. I guess I'll have to. Let me see. Google search it. It's not that big of a deal. I just didn't know since you're like all the Marvel stuff, if you knew right off. So Superman versus or Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice. It doesn't really say what like toy style there. I don't know. I'll do it up. Take that rock and raccoon now. Don't hit that. Take that rock and raccoon. No, they go as a set. No, they don't. They're completely different sets. So yeah, I'm trying to take the things. Harley Quinn is from. I bet the tag probably says. It says Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. Yeah. Superman is probably from Dawn of Justice, which means there's probably a Batman. This one is probably from Teen Titans. This one doesn't say. It just says DC Comics. And then that one's Marvel. Yeah. From. The benefits of having a the gamer. These are fun. This one's a Funko. Plush. Yes. Well, you know, probably can't take it. Anymore. So I figured I would try to get these listed before he came back in here, so he's not trying to claim all of it. <laughs> I want to buy that for me. Now I was talking about my kid. Because every time I bring a toy in here, he's like, "Oh, is that for me?" No, he wants to buy it from you with your money. Uh, yeah, last last night I went to Walmart and had milk and a few things for today. And uh, I brought back a bunch of toys that I retail arbitraged for Amazon. And uh, I felt really bad because I them up. So I gave him a couple. <laughs> um, so, oh, come back here. Um, how do you think I would fare if I tried to take these? Um, Monopoly games back. Do what? Oh, how, how do you think you would fare? Yeah. Uh, it's been a while since you bought them, hasn't it? It's been, it was probably November. It's the end of November. It's you might get a store credit. Uh, that'd be fine, too. I mean, it's not like we're not going to go back to Walmart. 
Uh, do you know who Rodney Carrington is? I do. You ever heard his Walmart skit about? Uh, I'm sure that I have. Well, he was like, you know, Walmart will take anything back. Hell, I, I walked in there to Walmart and to, and told them I said, well, these diapers have already got shit in them. They're like, well, we're, we're real sorry, so go back there and get you another packet. Ah, uh, yes, I heard that. Yeah. I haven't thought about that in a while. You're not going to have that up super loud, are you? All the way to the max. Speaking of video games, he just walked in here and turned it on. He's playing, about to play some more things. Did you see I have this one? Who is it? Ariel. I don't think so. I also found the Ariel What's Little Mermaid. Zoom, zoom. Hey, Landon. Oh, nice. Is it a little plushy there? I think they're like... Landon. I think they're like $8 a piece at Target. Landon. But my son's about to claim Landon. this one because he's got like 40 of these things. Hey, Landon. Pause and put it down. Come here for a second. Come here. Do you mind him popping on the channel for a second? Put it down. Oh, I don't mind. Don't walk okay. your iPad. I'm going to take off my headphones, okay? Go in the Tracy house. What? Go see your mother. What do you want? Do you have that one already? Oh, uh, I have that one already. Not this I have one. Nope. Hello. See, I told you. I should have put everything else away. Do you already have Ariel? I already have it. Okay. Well, uh, why don't you say hi? Hi. Did you wave? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. I really like this one because it reminds me of that game called Splatoon where you can like swim in the air. It does. Could I maybe have this Elena. one? He waved at everybody. You're on YouTube. Look. Hey. You know how you're watching people on YouTube kids all the time? Yeah. You're on YouTube right now. There you are. YouTube adults. Yeah. That's where right. you are. Hey. <laughs> YouTube. Hey, can I? All right. Can I, can I yeah. We'll those see you later. <laughs> Go get on my Lego, uh, my Minecraft. Uh, get, get my next one license in here. So in no, here. you're gonna go out there. Can you try, please? You're gonna go play Please. No, go All right. right. Please. Go. 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 Rest go. 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 Sure. Okay, try that one more time. Okay, looks like Rusted Raccoon answered your questions in regards to um, returning that game. Oh, let's see. Oh. Mopies, Funko Mopies plush. There you go. Two, with a receipt, you're good. This is with a receipt, you'll get cash. Okay. There's a, I, I'm certain that I have my receipt somewhere. I'm usually pretty good at keeping up with them, but I'll just have to go back through my little accordion file folder thing, you know. And look oh, yeah. For it. Yeah, you got the receipt because you bought them for resale. Yeah. So, but thanks for that, Rusty Raccoon. Take it easy, brother. Thanks for coming by. All right, Gary. I'm about to put my paper down so I can have my white background. Where did it go? Did you throw it somewhere? Oh, oh, somewhere. What? Not my gold paper. It's a cry roll down the bed. Oh, there it is. And if you guys don't have a white background and you want to be interested in one, a cheap, easy way, I got this paper. Um, it's not really rolled up very well, but yeah, it's just a roll of paper like this at Michael's. It's originally $15, but you can use your 40% off one regular price item. So. Mic drop.
Frontier said he's listing a death pile of 80s toys. Nice. Sold a Princess of Power crystal horse last night for eight or for fifty dollars. That's good. Wow. So, yeah, Jeremy claimed the raccoon, the rocket raccoon. So I guess I'm just going to list these three together. They, they all say they're Funkos. They're not new with tags, but they're in really, really good condition. Like, don't look played with condition. So. Of course, it got buried over here. Oh, Mary, where are you? You said there's tons of weird people there. What's that? Marie says where she is, there's a bunch of weird people there. Junk Trader says they're going to see Rodney Carrington in a few months. That'll be awesome. He used to perform in Birmingham. Probably still does a lot up there. That's actually how I heard of him. I don't know if I, I'm gonna try to show you. I know I was showing you that the other night, but okay. So, like this picture is not actually bad because it's straight on under the light. Yeah. So, but if you want to do the the pick tap go, you edit. I don't know if you can still see. You get your three yep. dots right there. The app pops up. And the first one I do, you scroll, scroll up a little bit. And there's the lights on filter right there. It's like the very first one. And it shows up. And you see the little slidey bar at the bottom? Yeah. It makes it like super bright, right? Like almost a little too bright. Go here, you slide it. Well, slide it down a little bit. And it oh, looks yeah. really good. Yeah. And I'll crop it down. I just realized there's a shadow in that picture, but it'll be cropped down. You won't see that. But that's the pick tap go app. And somebody says that um, I just realized like I'm halfway, <laughs> half my face is cut off. Um, somebody was saying in the chat the other day that it's also for Android mm -hmm. now, but I was under the impression that it was only for Apple devices. Okay. But it is two ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, it's but it's very worth it. It's only a two ninety nine one one time fee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, what? Is he on voice? Um, I, uh, I created, I don't know if you saw the channel, I created no and it has a lock on it. I promoted you guys all to leader status, so only people allowed in for leaders. Because uh, Tick and all his buddies kept popping in, and they were like having different, like three different conversations at once while we were trying to do stuff. And you know how loud he can get. Can you guys hear all of his conversations? Well, it was just stealth. And, yeah. But <laughs> Bell's trying to do something different. Hey, maybe not quite so loud. No. <laughs> and uh, and no thing. Uh, him and Stealth were like just going on and on, and then he was talking about stupid stuff that had nothing to do with the game and missions. They were like trading and talking about trades. And this is what we have when we so just have to live in a channel, so small bedroom. Do all that. But if we play with him, we can switch over to the Warframe. <laughs> I could tell Bells was starting to get aggravated with it because he kind of just kept, he kept turning the channel or kept even the channel. Okay, Metallica, nice. Went and saw Metallica in December. 
Um, That's pretty lucky that thing with that. Part was done this morning, so while I was at school, I had to hurry up and claim it so I could start the build this morning while I was there. Oh, and I got another three hour affinity booster. I trust her to last, but a call for my daily. Uh, oops, All right, well, seven. I am probably going to hop off so I can go and have some dinner. All righty. Well, thank you for having me. Not a problem. We'll Thanks talk to you guys having. soon. Thanks for joining. And I'm assuming you're going to stay for a little while longer. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. Yeah. I've probably got I don't ever get any good pair of shoes or stay with photographs. So, oh, series. Gotcha. All Whatever right. Well, I'll talk to you guys soon. Do five rounds. Yeah. Right. Thanks, Tracy. Bye. Bye. Yeah. See if I can figure out how to end it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Back to just. Back to just me. Man, you all are awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I gotta get some more paper. to stuff these shoes. I'll be right back. should be watching for okay these are really really cool these are called the eleu trainer e-l-e-u trainer i think if i remember right these come out at close to fifty dollars Right back. I gotta get something to get those stuff off. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a good brand. Uh, it's called O L U K A I.
So what uh, what camera do you guys use to take your photos? I'm just kind of curious. Do you guys have like a Samsung Galaxy phone? them with authentic Oklahoma red mud. <laughs> I've got a couple shoots like that, no doubt. These are a little dirty on the bottom, but they're not terrible. Not bad enough for me to sit around and clean on for ever. At the end of the day, time is money. Good quality pictures. People can make the judge whether or not to buy them. iPhone, iPhone X. Man, all you iPhone people. Can't, I can't. I cannot do it. Look at these Timberlands. These look nearly new. Except for that rock. Uh. There, it's gone now. Uh, Frontier Flipper asked, uh, what is your sales Poshmark versus eBay? Um, well, I use my sound is choppy. That's not good. Um, I use Well, shoot. Hang on. Okay. Well, guys, I guess I'll end it here. If it's not going to get any better, I don't know what to do. Is that any better? Probably not. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it is kind of choppy, isn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it is kind of choppy, isn't it? 
Well, shoot. Uh, well, dang. I guess we can call it. We can call it. Do something different. <laughs> um, to answer Frontier's question, um, my sales on Poshmark are about the same as what's on eBay, give or take. But I also have a virtual assistant doing a lot of sharing on Poshmark, so that definitely helps increase um, my sales on Poshmark. But anyways, guys, um, you know what? I think I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, I'm going to get a few more things done, and uh, I might actually go live again tonight, later tonight, uh, see who all is on. But until then, uh, I guess I'm. I guess I'm just gonna. I'm probably gonna go grab a bite to eat too myself because I still got a lot of work to do. And hearing about a, I've got a an appointment scheduled. Here about an hour anyway. So, but uh, I'll I'll hop off here for now, and I might uh, might do another uh, live listing video tonight because I'm gonna I'm gonna be working throughout a lot of this evening. So. Anyways, guys, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for um, hanging out with me. It means a lot. Um, of course, you know, if you guys enjoy this video, uh, hit the thumbs up if you don't mind. If you're not a part of my uh, Facebook group, eBay Sellers Anonymous, hit me up there. If you're not following me on Instagram, you can find me at Thrift underscore Trainer. Uh, a lot of good things coming. Um, a lot of good things. I've got... Uh, pair of spy glasses that I'm going to be wearing at uh, the Goodwill bins. So those will be some pretty interesting videos coming pretty soon. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. And until next time, keep on picking that trash, making that cash. Have a good night.